One of the things uh, I've talked about is uh, with T jets is using brakes, and um, I like braking my car. A lot of cars I've played with from other people don't have any brakes. So I'm going to show you how I add brakes. Uh, looking at this um, chassis, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that move. So cars come that way, and um, people set them up. Uh, to me, adding brakes uh, is a two-fold thing, increasing the tension. Uh, there's a couple ways, and I, I think I did a video on how I uh, do the tension. Uh, I guess I'm kind of redo it, but actually I also get into just adding the brakes. And I'm going to just use one uh, spring to show that. Um, <clears throat> but the key to this is, uh, it's going to be hard to do it on the video, is uh, you see that tension again, it slides back and forth. So the first one, I'm just going to try it this way, see if it works. Alright, so I, I pressed down, you saw where I pressed, and now you see it does not move. So that's in place. So you've increased the tension, you locked it in, and it's there. So if we take a look uh, from this side, um, it's there, it's up a little bit further. It's sitting uh, kind of in the middle of the hole. Um, what I like to do, if I really want to add a lot of brakes, maximize the brakes, then I got a screwdriver that I use. And that's this guy here, flathead. And I take, and I come in here, and I actually slide my screwdriver in the hole. and bend that up. Now you see how that's um, closer back here. And I don't leave that tab up. I actually um, take that tab and I put a little, try and get a little bit of a, more of an angle on uh, if I can do this. Trying to do it on the camera is not that easy. So um, I bent the tab, um, the top, I think I did. Bear me one second here, see if I can make this a little bit better. 